Tell us what drove this strong set of results. And I know that you do not operate in the sector that is seeing the regulatory crackdown from Beijing, but have you felt any indirect effects? Okay. Hi. Good morning, Sherry. Um, actually, for our uh, China Education Group, we always focus on the higher education and the vocational education. So in that, you know, our you know, strategy has been in line with the government policy you know, to promote the vocational and the higher education. Uh, you are right, you know, for the uh, after-school tutoring policy, uh, it didn't really affect us. Uh, but for the policy on the vocational education just announced recently, it has been a really, really uh, good and uh, provide a very good platform for us to grow in the higher education and the vocational uh, segment. Do you see investors preferring your company over those other names, say uh, TAL or New Oriental, that has faced the wrath of Beijing then? Mm, I think, you know, for us, you know, uh, just like this year, we have provided about 52,000 graduates who are all into the vocational education. So actually, we have been our strength and, you know, and it is also our target, you know, to, you know, um, educate more skilled labor and more, you know, uh, college graduate, you know, to help, you know, the growth of China. Um, Bill, uh, China Education recently acquired a, a majority stake in Jincheng College. Can you share with us any other M&A plans that you might have? Yeah, and we have been very, very consistent on our M&A uh, plan, you know, since our listing back in December 2017. Uh, we uh, have indicated, you know, to the market that we will do two to three uh, acquisitions a year. Uh, and as what you said, the new uh, acquisition was the Jinjong uh, College, uh, which is the number one independent college in the country. And uh, it is a very, very strong and very, very reputable uh, school uh, in, in the country. And we are very happy that, you know, it come into our portfolio. I think, you know, and for our M&A, I always tell the investor that, you know, buying a school uh, is, I would say, not too difficult uh, as long as, you know, you have the financial support. But how do you improve the uh, performance after the acquisition is the key. So far, you know, all the schools that we had acquired, uh, first, you know, the academic performance had been you know, uh, strongly uh, enhanced, and, you know, and then it comes with the financial performance. So far, you know, we have been uh, doing it consistently well, you know, with our school after the acquisition. Uh, for the academic wise, you know, we have been able to improve the program and to you know make sure our graduates are well equipped uh, when they graduate and go into the job market. You know, on average, mm -hmm. the employment rate for our graduate is over ninety percent. In terms of being well equipped for the job market, uh, China's been promoting vocational trading, and I guess this is an area where you can really synergize with uh, regulators. Uh, how important do you see vocational training uh, becoming to your growth model? I think it is definitely, you know, uh, I, I would say in our DNA since uh, our group was set up uh, back in the uh, late 80s, uh, we had always been into the vocational. Uh, for all of our program, uh, we cooperate with, you know, 2,000 corporate. Uh, to co-design the program to ensure our program are uh, practical enough and close to the market enough and got the latest technology which needed by the industry. Bill, let me ask you about the broader education industry and culture. Given that you're running uh, higher level education as well as vocational schools, if you have this crackdown coming from Beijing to relieve students' stress, to really crack down on private tutoring, uh, do you feel there might be a broader change in how Chinese people perceive education or their zeal for education overall that might long term impact you? Mm -hmm. Definitely, you know, for what the uh, Beijing policy 
on you know releasing you know the pressure on the students as well as you know, financial pressure on the parents uh, had been the main idea from Beijing and fortunately you know for our group actually uh, we are helping uh, Beijing you know to uh, to implement this policy given the fact that you know we have been providing more uh, sit, you know, for the student who want to go for higher education, uh, we are the, uh, I would say, the addition to the public school system. So actually, we are helping Beijing to um, to achieve that target. And in longer term, I think for vocational, I don't think there would be any um, thing negative, you know, to happen uh, in the in the in the future given the fact that you know we have been you know uh, educating uh, our students and make sure uh, they are well equipped for the job market i would like to emphasize the job market now it is not just some uh, scenario in china actually i attended an education conference a couple of years ago it is a global uh, issue that a lot of college graduates you know, after they graduate, they could not find a job. Even for them to find a job, it's, uh, the job doesn't really require what they have learned. So from the educator point of view, it is a waste of resources. So for China Education Group, definitely, uh, it is not uh, what we are doing. We are very focused on what the uh, student learn and how to prepare them when they graduate. A number of investors and analysts that we talk to on Bloomberg are very nervous about investing in the education sector in China because of the regulatory framework. But we just saw there your stock has 26 buys. Uh, what's your message to nervous investors? I think, you know, education, you know, uh, is a very broad industry, I would say. You know, you can divide into different stages, you know, from the kindergarten and then you have to primary and secondary school, and then you go to the higher education. Uh, in China, for the compulsory education, which means uh, from year one to year nine, which is provided for free, you know, uh, the public school doesn't charge you anything. Uh, so this is something, you know, uh, Beijing would have a lot of um, monitoring measure on that uh, stage. Uh, but for the higher education, uh, the government had made it very, very clear when they established the private education law back in uh, 2017, uh, when they announced it, they want the private sector to take place in the higher education sector uh, to help them to increase their enrollment rate for the higher education uh, for the country. And recently, uh, the policy on the vocational education uh, even say, you know, uh, our, you know, the listed company or the leader of the uh, industry uh, mm -hmm. can make use of the capital market to help the government uh, to achieve the uh, target or the aim for the vocational education.